Hey guys, welcome back again. If you are doing a digital marketing job or maybe any personal job, in all the cases, if you are looking to integrate two different tools to make automation, then how you can do that? Which tool you have to use and how you can grab that tool for 100% free? How you can access that tool and most important, how using that particular tool you can automate your task everything I'm going to explain here in this video. Hey guys, my name is Kirti Shwyas. I'm from the bloggingworlds.com. On this channel, I do provide information about the affiliate marketing, blogging, digital marketing, and various ways to make money online. So if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and like this video. Let's go to the screen. I will first tell you what is the tool, how it works, and how you can grab this for 100% free, and you can use this for a lifetime access. So here we are on the screen. Okay guys, so we are on the desktop screen and the name of the tool which we will be using for our automation which will be free for you is Integrately. Yes, to, yes guys, this is a new tool being introduced right now in the market and that is the competitor of the Zapier. So if you are not aware about the Zapier, then Zapier is the king of this market but it is a bit expensive. If you will go with that free plan, that only offering 100 tasks per month. It means you ultimately have to buy this particular plan in order to perform multiple tasks. And even this plan will allow you to automate only 20 applications with only 750 tasks per month. So what is a task? Let's take an example. If within a Google sheet you are providing any entry at that moment, if you wanted to trigger an email, so that will be counted as a one task. So in this way, guys, there's 750 tasks. You will be charged around $19.99 per month, even with 20 zaps only. But guys, to complete this particular tool, a new tool has been introduced in the market, which is the name of Integrately. And in this tool, you will get 500 tasks every month for free. If you will use my link, which is given in the description. Yes, guys. This particular tool has been newly introduced and this is the competitor of the Zapier. Right now it is doing a promotion in the market and that's why we are getting up to 500 tasks per month for totally free. If you will sign up right now using the link which I have given in the description that will give you this bonuses. Otherwise you can go and directly enroll for the Integrately as well if you want it. But if you wanted to give a credit to this channel then I request you to use my affiliate link. But anyways guys in this video I will explain you what this is how it works and there you can see guys multiple applications whatever you are using in your day-to-day -day job that could be your google calendar your gmail any email marketing tool or any google sheet google drive anything whatever you are using at the moment it's supporting 350 plus applications so you can integrate one application with another and why what is the need of this tool let's take an example guys uh, have you ever seen any mechanism using which you can connect your google sheet with a gmail no there is no such mechanism exists and because if you wanted to do the automation ultimately you have to deal with their apis right and that is a bit of coding part so in order to make things very easier this kind of tool has been introduced in the market and I have been using this for past one year. But right now I have recently been migrated to the Integrately because this offering little bit for free and even cheaper as compared to the Zapier. So now guys, what you have to do is simply go and sign up right now and I will show you the practical demo how this tool works. So I hope you all are on that screen and now this is how it look like. Once you will sign up guys, this is how it look like. So how exactly you can do the automation for the automation purpose. As part an example of this video, we will be automating two things. So number one is our Google Sheet and second one is our Gmail ID. So what we are expecting is whenever if you will be doing any entry within your Google Sheet, it should automatically trigger an email using your Gmail ID. OK, so how you can do that automation? So once you'll be on the screen inside your Explore and Automation or My Automation, wherever you will go within that Explore and Automation, you will be having this option. So first you have to choose where the action should be triggered. So in our case we'll be choosing here as our Google spreadsheet. Okay, so I will choose here Google sheet as you have selected that one automatically we have chosen our first action or first application which integrate uh, which will integrate with the number two application and the number two application there you can see guys you have multiple 350 plus application you can integrate your Google sheet but in our case what we will be doing is we will be integrating with, with our Gmail. So either you can search from here or you can directly select here. So as I selected that one, it again asking, do you want to integrate with another one? If you wanted to, then you can do that. Okay. Now what happened is as soon as you have selected that one, it will automatically give you different actions. So what actions you needed? So we wanted an action like whenever a row is been created within our Google sheet, you should automatically create an email in Gmail. Okay. And that email should be automatically sent. So that kind of automation you needed, then directly you can go with that. 
similarly you have multiple ways you can create that automation but in our case we need this basic automation so i will choose this one as soon as you will click to this one now our next phase is all about it's actually setting up an automation for us so it is setting up that api almost everything whatever needed for an automation you can simply click here as in check it now so your two applications is now been integrated now what we have to do is guys we have to connect both the application one is google sheet and second one is our gmail account so in our Google Sheet, simply click here as an add connection, click to the continue. As you will click to the continue guys, whatever Google account you have for which you, you would like to use the Google Sheet, you can choose that. So in our case, I will be choosing this particular account. You have to select that one, then you have to provide them an access. So now what happened is now you have connected your Google Sheet account with uh, this integrately. Now within this Google Sheet account, you can see here, I have a multiple Google Sheet, right? And for our testing purpose, we'll be using Integrately Test. That's the spreadsheet I have created. And the simple terminology is guys, as soon as this will get connected, you should be able to see like it's been connected, give this as a continue. So as it's been connected at that moment, guys, what happen is you will be having a two options over there. So number one is select your spreadsheet. And as you select your spreadsheet within the spreadsheet, it will ask you to select a specific worksheet. So what happened is these all are the spreadsheet, right? Or Google workbook spreadsheet. So I will select this one. And within the spreadsheet, you should be able to see number of worksheet, right? So all the steps are number of worksheet. So at the moment, this is totally empty. And then you can see this is the spreadsheet. If I have created, if I will create a multiple, then it will have a multiple one. Now I will come back here and as you will click to this one, all the spreadsheet available within your account will be displayed. And in our case, we'll be using this one. So I have selected that one. Now what happened is guys, within that spreadsheet, whatever the worksheet you will have, you should be able to select that one. And in our case, we have only one. So that's why there is a only single option. So I have chosen that one. That's the simple thing you have to do to connect or you set up your Google Sheet account. Now, once you will do this first time, guys, you have to have some sort of a test record because that's the test record it will check. And at the moment, you can see we have no record and that's why it is telling like you have no record and nothing is there. And that's why we have to add some record then refresh this one. So I will come back to this and let's add a couple of record. Okay, so now the action is something like if in future you will be adding any entry into that, your user should get an email to this particular email ID. That's what your job, right? So let's imagine I have entered this one. I will go back to uh, this one and click to refresh. As you will click to refresh, automatically it will populate those two details here for a testing purpose only. So initially you have to test with a one record. Otherwise the connection will not be set up. So let's take a time and there you can see it has automatically taken you have a number uh, number two row which has a name value as in Kirtish and email ID as in this one. So in similar way, this has taken this data from this particular sheet. So this spreadsheet has been connected successfully. Now the next job is connect your email account using which you will be sending the email to this particular user. So I will click to this add connection, go to this continue. Okay. And now as you will click to the continue, now what happened is guys, it will ask us to provide access for that particular email ID. So let's say this is the Gmail account, which I would like to connect with integrately. And I want you to send email from this particular email ID to all the users, whoever is I'm adding to the spreadsheet, giving access to the allow. Now just draft your email, whatever the email you wanted to send to that particular user, just drop that email within the integrately only. Or if you have any different applications or email marketing tools, such as uh, what I should say, like get response and everything, even you can connect with that as well. Okay. So as soon as this Gmail account has been connected, you will be having a multiple field. Out of this field, you have to choose like from whom you are exactly sending this email. So obviously it will be your name. So you can give this name whom you would like to send this one. So as soon as you will click to this one, automatically that test email will show you. So you will be having a multiple row within that spreadsheet. So it is asking you which column you would like to map with to. So obviously we are sending this to the email ID. So you can choose this one. Okay, then the next one is if you wanted to add anyone into CC, BCC, you can add it. But in our case, the subject line will be this is a test integrately or whatever you wanted to have. Now, if you wanted to send a message like hi, this uh, message is coming from integrately. So in this way, guys, what we are doing is just drafting that messages. Okay, as soon as you will uh, done with that, simply go and click to the test and go live. So now what happened is as you will click to the test and go live automatically we are expecting that user MRVS idea at the red gmail.com should receive an email from this email ID via skirtish at the red gmail.com. Once again, if you will click to that one, your integration is successful. Now you can go back and see, and there you can see, I have received an email from 
integrately which is telling like hi this message is coming from integrately okay so now guys what i will do is let's test with another email id to make sure it is working perfectly because the earlier one was just a test email right so i will go back to this sheet and let's type here another name let's say uh and now we will see whether this has been triggered any email to this particular email id or not if this is working that means in the future whatever email id you will be adding here into the column email it will auto trigger that particular message body to that particular user so let's see if such kind of thing has been happened or not so i will go back and open that particular email i can see on the screen guys we have received another email which was triggered from that spreadsheet automatically and this is coming to this particular email id soundproof idea at the gmail.com and the same message whatever we have drafted so in similar way the number of details you will keep adding into the spreadsheet the number of emails it will be triggering to each and every individual user so in this way you can connect all the different different tools whatever you are looking for using this integrately and at the moment you will get up to 500 tasks per month free totally for lifetime if you will sign up right now and that's the opportunity to grab it because if you will go with the same plan inside the zapier that will closely cost you around 15 dollars right so make sure you take an advantage of this tool no matter whether you will be using or not at the moment you at least have to grab this opportunity so that in future for any particular purpose you can use this tool i hope guys this video has been helpful for you if this is so make sure you subscribe to this channel and like the video and provide your valuable comment so that i will get to know how exactly you will be going to use this tool and how this tool has been beneficial for you that's all for today see you in the future one thank you very much for being a part of this channel